Toby Mac opens up after his oldest son's tragic death. A new study reveals that going to church improves mental health and comedian John Christ is coming to Netflix. Hey guys, it's Anita Wingley of Faith Strong Today and here's what's making the headlines this week. Christian hip-hop artist Toby Mac spoke out on Facebook following the tragic death of his son Truett Foster McKeon this week, who was only 21 years old. Truett was an aspiring rapper who only just performed his first show in Franklin, Tennessee. This show was the last time that Toby Mac saw his son. He left early the next morning to start his Canadian tour. In a statement on his Facebook page, he described his son as someone who was magnetic and had joy that would fill a room. Toby Mac says that his son had a soft spot for God, saying that the Bible moved him, although he wasn't a cookie-cutter Christian. Last year, Toby Mac released a song called Scars, which he had dedicated to Truett, who had just moved out of the family home to make his own mark as an artist. The cause of Truett's death has not been revealed, as it's still under investigation. In his heartfelt post, Toby Mac shared a picture of his final text message exchange with his son, where he praised him for his amazing show and told him that he's very, very, very proud of him. Our condolences go out to Toby Mac and the McKeon family. A new study reveals that young churchgoers are more likely to experience positive mental health. Research company Barna and the Christian charity World Vision conducted a massive study called The Connected Generation, where they looked at church-going habits and mental health. They polled 15,000 people between ages 18 to 35 in 25 countries. Here's the highlights from the results. People who attended church regularly were less likely to experience loneliness, depression, and anxiety than those who didn't. When it came to having hope for the future, people of faith were again more positive with 51% of Christians saying that they're optimistic about the future, compared to only 34% of those who had no faith. When it came to motivation, 43% of Christians said that they're able to accomplish their goals, compared to only 29% of non-believers. Overall, the study reveals powerful connections between practicing faith and well-being. John Christ, the Christian comedian who first became famous on social media, is coming to Netflix. This week, he announced that his stand-up comedy special, I Ain't Praying For That, will debut on the streaming service on Thanksgiving Day. The faith-based entertainer is known for videos like Church Hunters, Celebrity Pastor Fantasy Draft, and Virtual Reality Church, where he pokes fun at the nuances of Christian subculture. John says that he wants to give faith-based comedy a facelift, arguing that it's gotten a bad rap for being very passive and not honest. He says he's bringing another level of honesty and transparency. That's it for this week. It's Anita Wingley. For more inspiring stories, stay tuned on Faith Strong Today.